Hi, this is Sean from Fortis Fitness with a quick overview and demonstration of our weighted push-up harness. So adding resistance to push-ups creates a few inherent problems. One of them is comfort, function. To do a push-up, your back and your arms are going to be moving. So whatever you put on your back for resistance, it often gets in the way uh, and it sort of um, encumbers you doing a push-up. And you start to think more about that than the actual movement. Another issue is consistency of measuring the resistance. Uh, when you throw sandbags or chains or even have somebody sitting on your back, that can cause a problem because you need to use the same resistance again. You need to measure it to know you're increasing. So that's an issue. And finally, safety is an issue. And that you're throwing something on your back. If you miss a rep, you're going to hit the floor and uh, the, the, the weight on your back is going to sort of crush you down a little. Not a big deal. If you're using a bar, it tends to be because if your hand slips or you miss a rep, could hit your teeth, hit, knock you in the face, in the throat, what have you. So to get around all those issues, we've got this uh, push-up harness. Um, Sean's got this thing on. Um, he's going to hold the, a chain, which is going to hold the resistance right here. Turn around. It's padded. It's, uh, okay. Crosses in the back. We've got our plate holder and a chain, which we're going to adjust for our range. And um, we're going to use handles. For doing these push-ups, we can adjust height-wise, uh, neutral or regular grip, and that's also going to create a safe situation because if we if we miss a wrap, we're just going to come down into space. We're not going to hit a bar. Okay, so setting up for this thing, we've got the handles in the rack. Uh, the nice thing about this is you can elevate the handles. Um, you can also elevate your feet or lower either one, so you can have an incline or a decline effect. Um, finally, by adjusting the chain length, we can do a partial. The chain that's going to attach to the actual push-up harness that Sean's wearing. We can do a partial, um, or we can extend the range and uh, go extra low and have sort of a cambered bar effect. Now Sean's going to demonstrate. You're on, brother. So as you can see, when Sean's using this harness, nothing bad can, can happen. Um, he can either rip the weight off the floor or he can't. Um, the other thing about what we're doing uh, today, the way we're using the harness, we're letting the weight drop onto the floor just for a second and then ripping it right off. Right? You could let it hang, and in that case, you're going to have a stretch reflex. It's going to be one complete movement. But letting the weight actually rest on the floor for a second is interesting because it's creating sort of a, a box squat type effect for a, a pressing movement. You're breaking the movement into three parts. Um, so suddenly we have analytics involved. We've got the eccentric, the concentric, and the brief static phase between the two. So emphasizing each one of those parts is going to make the movement a little more difficult, definitely, having to rip the thing off the floor each time. But it's going to improve the whole movement when you bring the whole thing back together with a stretch reflex uh, as with a regular type of bench press. So this is a good example of static overcome by dynamic because when you're in the bottom, even though the weight's on the floor, you're still holding up your body weight. Okay, one of the reasons I like using this harness is you read advice and suggestions from a lot of the top bench pressers in the world. And uh, a lot of these guys suggest that you imagine pressing the, uh, the bench away from you, that the bar's static and you're actually pushing yourself and the bench away. Um, and that's going to improve form. Um, and it's, it's a good sort of proprioceptive technique to practice. So I, I love this thing because it's a literal example of, of just that, of pushing yourself away from you know, what would uh, be a static bar, um, replicating that suggestion. Uh, finally, this is um, just a new and different adaptation to improve the bench press using the conjugate system. We've used this thing for, uh, for speed, for maximal efforts, and uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of the time for repetitions as well. Uh, as an assistance exercise. Thanks for demonstrating, Sean. So as you can see uh, from Sean's demonstration in the rack, we use this thing with some custom-made handles that we make and we actually sell uh, for use in our rack. But this thing is really versatile. You can really use it anywhere where you have a sturdy, elevated surface. So I've got two identical benches here. Uh, I got a plate, I can just pop this down, adjust the height, use it exactly the same way. I can just use my hands. As long as I've got a sturdy, elevated surface, Boom, down I go, I can do that weighted push-up safely. 
Um, I can also, right off the floor or again on the surface, use standard push-up handles any way I want, neutral, wide, whatever way. Or uh, another tool would be something like a parallel, a parallel set of parallettes right here. Any of that stuff will work. Okay, so as long as you have an adequate elevated platform that's sturdy, two benches or something like this, this is a platform we use for belt squats, you can actually do um, a low bar type squat movement with this thing. And you can also do good morning style movements as well. It's pretty straightforward. In. If I want to do more of a good morning style, then this hangs pretty much where the low bar bar position would be. A little bit of extension of hips. Hangs right over my center of gravity, feels really good. Okay, you can do pretty much any of these movements as long as you have a long enough chain and some legs, it's no problem at all. The other good thing about this is the holes in the center of the plate fit right through. So you could stack 8, 9, 10, 12, as many plates as you want, right up and down the chain. So you can still use a really heavy weight when you're doing these exercises. Okay, another really great way to use this harness, it's not for push-ups, but for lower back work. Often if you do a good morning with heavy weight, your hips are going to lower, you're going to take the tension off the hamstrings. I know I make that mistake occasionally. Um, with a back extension, you can't lower the hips. So you can't cheat. The problem with a back extension is adding resistance. Usually you have to hold it in your hands. Uh, that's a problem with using static weight because, you know, your arms might give away or your, or your grip. So with this thing, you don't have to worry about that. It's, it's just as much tension as you can put on your lower back. Uh, that's what you can rip off the floor. So demonstrating really quick. Do a couple back extensions. Hook in. Just hang on to this thing or keep my hands free or make a fist, whatever I like. I rip it off the floor. Up I go. I can adjust the height anywhere I want. Less of the range, increase the range. I can come up not hit the floor, use the stretch reflex. I can also, this is really kind of interesting, put a heavy weight on and hold, do a static hold for as long as I can with whatever amount of weight I want. So that's two more ways you can use this piece of equipment that uh, we found to be really effective. Okay, so this is a pretty versatile piece of equipment. As you can see, we can use it for any type of um, a push-up movement, any type of grip, anywhere in the range. You can also use it for a low bar good morning or squat, again, right off the floor. Um, and it's really good for skating, adding weight to a back extension, for a really strict back extension, for back work, uh, static holds, or the full movement. So, uh, it's called a Fortis push-up harness. It's actually patent pending. Thanks for visiting us at Fortis Fitness.